Five thirty. Time now for the weather magician and the traffic magician with Peter J. Wiggins. The evening report. Wednesday, May the first, two thousand and thirteen. Good evening, everybody. Current conditions at five thirty p.m. in Norton on this May the first, two thousand and thirteen. Why? Temperature 67 degrees with a humidity of 27%. Wind speed east about 7 miles per hour. Barometer 3.43 inches. Dew point about 32 degrees and a visibility about 10 miles. Okay. Looking at the radar scope on this. Wednesday, all is clear on the radar scope. Brand New England here. With or okay, seven day forecast goes like this. For the night, areas of fog after 2 a.m. Otherwise, increase the cloud to this with a low around 38 degrees. East winds about 6 miles per hour becoming light and variable around midnight. First day, patchy fog before 8 a.m. Otherwise, increase the cloud to this with high under 72 degrees. Calm wind becoming in east about 5 to 9 miles per hour in the afternoon. Further that, mostly cloudy during the evening, then gradually clearing with a low around 41 degrees. East winds. So depending on the severity... About 5 to 10 miles per hour would gust as high as 21 miles per hour. Friday, 7 with high near 60 degrees. Northeast winds about 7 to 13 miles per hour. For Friday night, mostly clear with low around 40 degrees. Northeast winds about 6 to miles per hour becoming light and variable in the um, evening. Saturday, sunny with high near 67 degrees. Saturday night, clear with a low around 38 degrees. Sunday, sunny with high near 69 degrees. Sunday night, mostly clear with low around 42 degrees. Monday, sunny with high near 32 degrees. Monday night, parts of cloud low around 43 degrees. Tuesday, mostly sunny with high near 71 degrees. Tuesday night, mostly the park class guys will low on 46 degrees. And Wednesday, partly sunny with high near 71 degrees. Peter's weather phrase of the day. Another beautiful night on tap for tonight and a terrific Thursday on tap by tomorrow. Okay, 532 minutes down now for the traffic report here on this Wednesday evening. And Tip O'Neill Tunnel is congested from the northbound side approaching the Dakin Bridge on the northbound side. And the southbound side of the Tip O'Neill Tunnel congested from South Station. So try to lost us right Sammy if I'm the underground area of Route 93. Boston Bruins have a game tonight with a trail Maple Leaves at 7 p.m. So try to let yourself some extra time if you're in that area around the TD Garden. Causeway Street is a little going to be busy around the area of the TD Garden tonight during game time. So if you're going to go there, try to take the T instead of drive. Okay, store drive. Not very much better. Congestion from the Fenway all the way out to 93 the Zicken Bridge here. Mass Park congestion from Fenway Park to the Prue Tunnel on the side. Extended through 93 and stretching until you enter the Ted Williams Tunnel and after you get it out of the Ted Williams Tunnel near Logan Airport. 90 is congested as you approach. Route 1A near Logan Airport and 1A congested as you get on from the mass pipe. So try some extra time if you are in that area. Mass pipe westbound side congestion from the Brighton Austin Tolls all the way out to near Newton, which is Route 16 in Newton on the eastbound side of the pipe. Congested from one train in West Weston all the way out to the Sheraton exit in Newtonville. So it's near exit 17, so try to stop extra time. Air. Mass pipe. Right, Westbound congestion from 120 this camp is with the in Weston, so trail stops are extra time here. Otherwise, mass practice will on fine from Weston disturbance. Group 1 congestion from 93 Zakin Bridge in Boston all the way to you approach the Tolman Bridge on the it's not from side of Route 1, but otherwise it's one fine from Boston all the way up to Peabody. Knowing the fact that their friend was involved in this, or potentially involved... Mass Pike? No, Southeast Expressway, North Mountain, congestion from the Braintree split all the way out to 
Mm. Uh, Morsi Boulevard and the northbound side. Southbound side, not very much better. Congestion okay. for the Southeast Expressway from the Mass Pike all the way out to. And she, of course, is talking about Johar. He was in her psychology to class. As for Boston State Street exit, which is exit 16, so trial us off some extra time. Mayor? False statements according to the court records, and he was not currently enrolled, hadn't been on campus since the fall of. 93 North congestion from the Zakin Bridge all the way out to Route 16, Mitzvah yeah. River. Belt Way in Medford, so trial stuff some extra time here. And 93 congestion from exit 35, which is route in Stoneham, so trial stuff some extra time. 93 congestion around the area of route 120, 95 in the stop out of 93, so trial stuff some extra time. 93 north, a little congestion as you put 129 for red in, so trial stuff some extra time if you are out in that area. Route 2 congestion. From exit 60 Lake Street to approach Route 2163 in the Fresh Pond area of Cambridge. So try to from the extra time. Route 2, a few slow spots from 119 in Acton to 62 in Concord on the east, westbound side. Westbound side, a little congestion approach. North Great Road in Concord here. And then for us, two small fine from Fitchburg to Littleton and two more fine from Lexington to Cambridge. One twenty that is more fine from Peabody to Gloucester. One twenty eight north. Congested from the Mass Pike and Western all the way out to exit thirty eight A, which is Route Twain and Stoneham. So try to off some extra time. If you got there, one twenty one twenty eight south. Well, bumper to bumper from 3A, exit 33 in Burlington all the way out to Route 20 in Wall, from Western section. So, try to stop some extra time out there. 120, well, fine, well, I'm fine from right into Peabody. 120, south is congestion from Route 181 in Denver, south on the due approach 95 in Norwood. So, try to stop some extra time, i a little slow spot on them. 120 as you approach Route 9, which is exit 20. Be on the southbound side in Newton, so try to stop next time here. 95 is more time from 120 in Peabody to the New Hampshire border. 93 North, a little congestion from. 495 in Andover all the way out to exit 46, which is 13110 in Lawrence. But otherwise, it's more on fine from 93 to the New Hampshire border. Route 3 congestion on the northbound side from 62 in Burlington all the way out to Treble Cove Road in Berwicka and Route 3 a little congestion from 110 to low all the way out to Stedman Street to low. So try to stop some extra time here. But all right, three is more on fine from. Stop on three, good to go from 120 to the New Hampshire border. 495. More on fine from Amesbury to Lawrence. 495 North, congestion from Route 3 in Chelmsford Low, stretch all the way out to Woburn Street in Low, so try to some extra time if you have to do it here. 495 from Lawrence to Marlborough and 495 South, congestion from North First Road in Marlborough, all the way out to you approach the Mass Pike on the southbound side in Westbury, and it's congested as you approach. To West Main Street and Hopkins, so trust up sector. I'm advised 45 is more fine from West Bird and Mansfield on both sides. 495 is more fine from Mansfield to Wareham here. 95 more fine from 120 in Norwich to the Red Island border, Route 24. Little congestion as you approach from 120 to Randolph and 128 congestion on the southbound side from the Southeast Expressway, Braintree, Split and Braintree all the way out to Route 24 in Randolph's trail service air travel by wires. 24 is more fine from both sides from Randolph to Raynham, Bridgewater and 24 south congestion on the new section with 495 in Bridgewater. So Trust up the extra, my wife. You're good to go from Bridgewater to the Red Island border.
Route 3. Congestion on the north side from exit 7 Union Street in Braintree to the Braintree split. So try to stop there time. Otherwise, you're a good girl from Braintree to 7 on both sides. 140 is Mulan 5 from Taunton, uh, New Bedford. 44 is Mulan 5 from Middleborough to Plymouth. 195 is Mulan 5 from Providence all the way out to Wareham. And willing to take a look at the Red Island traffic picture. 146 North is congestion from 99 and Cumberland with Southgate. Our way to the Sales Hill Road in. <laughs> North Springfield, South Sarasota, Sarasota. 295 Mulan 5 from Attleboro to Warwick. 146 Mulan Finance, you'll approach a slow spot in 146 South. From the branch, every exit all the way out to. 95 in Providence. 95 congestion from 126 southbound in Providence. All the way up to 146 in Providence. 95 north congestion from the Fairbanks Avenue curve to 146 in Providence. So trial stops the next time. Route 6 10 connector of Mulan Fine. Route 6 Mulan Fine from Johnson to Providence. 37 is Mulan Fine from 295 to Route 1 in Warwick. TF at Green Airport connector is Mulan Fine. Route 4 is Mulan Fine from East Greenwich to North Kingston. 130 is Mulan Fine from North Kingston to Newport. And 130 is Mulan Fine from Newport to Portsmouth. 24 North congestion as you approach. 195 and fall whips. Try to stop the extra time. Route 28. On the northbound side, congestion is put to bro on the road right here. Otherwise, you're good to go from Bourne to Falmouth. Route 6 is more on time from Sagamore to Sandwich and Sandwich to Orleans and 25 more time from Warham to Bourne. And that's me for the weather and traffic magician on this May the 1st, 2013 on Thursday. Appearance. So have a good evening and goodbye to Bye bye for now. Here.